Hi guys, in this video I will compare Beehive and MailChimp. So uh, basically we are going to answer the question which email marketing software is better for you. So I want you to know something and that is that there is no uh, specific um, email marketing software um, that is just completely better. Like it's important uh, because you have your own needs and uh, for example, Beehive uh, fits uh, that needs and MailChimp fits um, those needs. So it's like if you have a big, 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 big business, maybe MailChimp is better. But if you are a content creator, uh, maybe Beehive is better. But I am going to um, just list down uh, all of the features um, and um, yeah, you, you can give a conclu conclusion to that. Um, uh yeah and i am also going to do that so just watch it and uh, yeah you'll see so first beehive is the best for content focused newsletters and publications so if you are a content creator it's yeah very great for uh yeah for content for newsletters for uh, publications also it's an all-in-one um solution for a website email data, data analytics and growth tools so what do you mean by that um you do not have only just email um, marketing, so only sending the emails and that's it. No, you can also um, post um, blog posts on your website, so you can choose if you want uh, the blog posts, um, or uh, so you can choose if you want only uh, the blog posts uh, on your website, or just also send an email or only an email, not a blog post. But you can uh, use also just be high for just blogging. That's also an option. What you also can do is, um, yeah, you have a large, large um, extended view of data analytics and much growth tools. Also, you have the ownership of um, your audience and custom aesthetic. So you have really, you know, you can customize your whole, um, your whole website, your whole um, Beehive, um, you know, emails, uh, and you have, yeah, like a big ownership of your audience. You can play around with them, you can, um, you know, play poll, um, post polls, you can do a lot, a lot of things with that. Also, it's affordable uh, flat pricing, um, flat rate pricing. So what do they mean with that? So usually in the in the email marketing software niche, it's it's very common to, to um, like a subscription based model. So how many um, subscribers you have, like, let's say you have 10,000 subscribers, you pay uh, $1,000 per month for those 10,000 subscribers. But to be it, it's like a bit different. It's like flat rate uh, pricing model. So you pay, yeah, you pay what you see. You know, you you can pay, um, yeah, just, um, you know, you can pay with, um, with, like you don't have to pay, um, yeah, you know, whenever um, you get a new subscriber, for example, whenever you get 100 new subscribers, you it's literally a flat rate pricing model. So also the, the enterprise level solutions are very simple, very easy in Beehive. And as they say, it's accessible for everyone, to everyone. Now let's look at MailChimp. MailChimp is good for one of email blasts. So yeah, that's really great. Promotional or e-commerce uh, email. So if you are really into the e-commerce space, um, or like selling e-commerce products, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think MailChimp is better. Um, yeah, if you're just a small business offering online or in-person services, also MailChimp is probably better. But if you are a content creator, I think Beehive is better. Now let's look at a, a one or a side-by-side -side comparison. So custom emails. Um, you can send custom emails both on. Um, Behave on MailChimp, IPA access, um, also very important, uh, available with Beehive and MailChimp. Custom fields, you can um, create custom things, uh, which is quite important if you like branding, if you really want to make the, the emails or the publications really like your own. Uh, embeddable subscribe forms, also a important thing. So if you have a website, um, hello.com, for example, and if you have, um, if you post like blog, uh, blogs, uh, blog posts, and you want people to subscribe to your uh, newsletter, you can send a link to your Beehive account and then subscribe. But what you also can do, you can 
do in the middle, for example, of that blog post, you can add a form. So a subscribe form. So put your name here and put your email address here and subscribe to my newsletter. So um, yeah, they will be redirected as, uh, to your uh, BF or MailChimp account. So um, with BF on MailChimp, that's available. RSS feed, it's also available with BF on MailChimp. The advanced audience uh, segmentation also available with MailChimp as well as Beehive. Advanced analytics, they both have it. So MailChimp as well as Beehive um, have advanced analytics, but Beehive, I think it's a bit better than this because you can do literally everything with closely, closely every action that a subscriber uh, does not within the email you send from your Beehive um, account you can track it's like insane like if they tap a link you can see that when they tap a link you can see that uh, if they open the email they can see you can see that uh, when they open the email like everything you can see you can see also a very clear overview of your total subscribers what are they doing are they opening the opening emails uh, which emails are they opening and why um maybe why are they not opening the emails you can ask feedback um it's really great. Custom domains, yeah, closely every uh, email and marketing software has uh, this availability. Uh, of it. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce the word, but yeah, that's really important. Um, also available, of course. A publication website, this is not available with MailChimp. I think it's really nice of, when you look at, for example, um, Substack um, or, um, yeah, for example, just Beehive, they have this available, which is really important, I think. Um, so you cannot just post <coughs> blog posts <coughs> within MailChimp. So it's only available within Beehive. And I think that's a bit of a downside within MailChimp. So if you just like uh, to write a few times per week, what happened in your week, what you, maybe what you've learned, um, yeah, Beehive is much better. Premium subscriptions, um, no, not available within MailChimp. Um, user authentication and paywalling, this is not available with a MailChimp. So what do they mean by that? Mean by that if you have, um, like, uh, maybe you have a lot of knowledge about, um, stocks, right? About the stock market. And if you want to share just uh, one free uh, email about a stock recap of the, of, of this week, and you share another email which goes more in depth into what happened that week with stock stock market. You can um, uh, yeah paywall that one in depth email. So with not be be high if you can um, paywall that email, which I think is really really a nice function. So you can monetize your content very easily. Also promotions and free trials. So with a me uh, with a Mailchimp, you do not have the option for a free trial. With a Beehive, you can. Yeah, really play around with free, free, free emails, free uh, sending emails for free, um, blogging for free. It's like really nice. Um, so if you want to get started for free with um, Beehive, it's very easy. Also, Mailchimp, Mailchimp uh, does not yeah have this have a free trial, so it's like more um, yeah you need to have more money to start with Mailchimp. Um, integrated referral referral program. Um, yeah, when um, someone um, like signs up for your um, uh, like your email or your newsletter, um, they can uh, refer other people to your newsletter as well. And it's like very nice integrated with a behave, but it, yeah, it is not in MailChimp. Also, one click audience polls. So if you uh, you know you ask the question to your audience within your mail, which company is better? Uh, for example, um, Apple or Samsung, you can just ask very, um, yeah, very nice, very nice designed uh, poll, um, and they can just vote that you can view the analytics of that of that poll and just um, yeah, see the results very easily. It's very easy as well as for you as for your readers of the newsletter of the email of the blog. Also, newsletter recommendations. I think this one is not really important, but it's nice that Beehive has this option. Uh, Mailchimp does not have this option. Uh, now let's take a look at the reviews of um, yeah of uh, Mailchimp and Beehive. So as you see, we launched uh, the th the link 
that's a newsletter on MailChimp in 2020 and quickly realized it wasn't a long-term solution for us. It was overcomplicated and we ended up needing to use a ton of external tools to accomplish relatively simple things. So what he means by this is that MailChimp is very complex. So you can do quite a lot of things with it, but it's like really hard. It's hard to figure out. He's using external tools to 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 accomplish yeah easy things relatively easy things within beehive this is very easy all to do it's very simple very very user friendly um so if you do not have uh, any experience or just not a lot of experience within the email marketing niche uh, i recommend you definitely recommend you using beehive he said on beehive uh, we immediately upgraded to the aesthetic of our newsletter um, launched a professional, um, launched a referral program and started driving meaningful engagement via one click audience polls. So again, an option that uh, MailChimp does not have is the one click audience polls, um, and a integrated referral program and the aesthetic of the newsletter, you can change within Beehive very easily, which is not so easy within MailChimp. Um, so yeah, I think it's clear that Tom is very happy with Beehive. So here's here just a quick overview of all the functions or features within uh, Beehive and MailChimp. I think <laughs> the conclusion is very, very um, clear, but I am still going to view it for you. Uh, so the conclusion, the winner of this ultimate battle is, I think you can spell it, Beehive. So yeah, of course, MailChimp is still very great, of course, but if you are a big company big big company needing to send a lot of emails daily um i think mailchimp is better but if you, just for the average person for the average business behave is definitely better so if you want to get started with bf or mailchimp yeah maybe you still want to start with mailchimp it's so great of course um please check out the link in this in the description or in the pinned comments um yeah, so I hope this video was helpful. If so, please subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.